morning Saturday session, an epic tribute to an iconic band. The new album, Day of the Dead, celebrates the classic songbook of the Grateful Dead. In all, five hours of music. Producers and twin brothers Aaron and Bryce Desner took time out from their band, The National, to record 59 tracks featuring a range of artists. I spoke with the brothers recently about their project at the Brooklyn Bowl here in New York. How did you decide when you're done? It was really hard to, to decide when you could be done, because honestly, it could be 12 hours long. If we'd gone further than that, you could, you know, we, you could, we might have been arguably, you know, insane. insane. You know, You're almost insane sure. to yeah. begin with. So. <laughs> <laughs> a good kind of insane, but insane. And we were like, we do have a day job called <laughs> the National, so. Aaron and Bryce Dessner, guitarists with the indie rock band The National, started working on their side project nearly five years ago. But it really took off after they played with the Dead's Bob Weir in 2012. And established a lot of great energy with him and with a lot of the people around him. And it kind of picked up momentum there. Weir and the Dead gave the go ahead. When they blessed it, just thought, how could we not do this? The album is benefiting the Red Hot Organization, the AIDS charity that put out its first fundraising record, Red Hot and Blue, back in 1990. When you put together that first album, you probably weren't thinking you'd be here 25 years later. Oh, <laughs> after I finished the first one, I, I didn't even think I was going to survive. I never was like, I'll never do this again. But then Red Hot co-founder John Carlin got a call from George Michael's manager. Who said, George really wants to do something around the AIDS crisis. He has this song that he wants to donate to you. Too Funky became a worldwide smash and would anchor their second record, geared to club kids, deeply affected by AIDS. Then it was just too great to ever look back. Day of the Dead is the 20th Red Hot album. The Desners, who also produced the Dark Was the Night album for the charity, had no trouble attracting artists. We had a kind of wish list of artists we wanted to work with, but once word got out, artists started coming to us. Including Mumford and Sons, Bruce Hornsby, Lucinda Williams, and Wilco. There was chemistry, real chemistry, between these groups of people coming together to play the music, so it wasn't a forced kind of, you know, awkward, yeah, let's cover the Grateful Dead. It was like it was already there. We were just kind of turning the faucet on, essentially. And the question was never, did we go too far? It was more like, do, do, have we gone far enough? In terms of what the Grateful Dead would... I think we didn't be, go far yeah. enough. That's we why we have, we're deciding today to issue volume two. <laughs> <laughs> so there's more to come, we think? No, no. I, think I think we've done it. Yeah. <laughs>